Hey everyone, welcome to Lara Tips. In today's video, we'll be looking at four new things that are added to Laravel version 9.20.0. So let's get started. The first thing that has been added is this allow random to accept a callable. Let me show you in what scenario it might be useful. So here in the Tinkerwell, I have a post and there are three comments on a post. Let me just refresh and show you guys like this. There are only three comments, but if I call random over here two, it will get any two comments from here. So let me come here and refresh. You can see one and two. If I refresh multiple times, one and three, and again, you can see here one and two. So it will give us any two within those collections. And we know that there are only three comments. And if we try to access five over here, then it will give us an error like this invalid arguments you requested five items but there are only three items so in order to fix this issue we had to do it like this previously so comments we'll get the comments and add it to a variable here and again we'll do comments and random and here we'll pass this min five or count of comments we'll get minimum value either five or the count of the comments which means it will give us three so we'll get only three comments over here so it will not throw any issue but now in this latest Laravel version we can add this comments random and we don't need to assign this post comments to a temporary variable and also we can do any calculations that we like over here but if I try to run it it will just give us an error because I haven't upgraded the Laravel and just before this also let me show you one more thing over here so here in the markdown there is also this another thing that has been added str markdown and if i run it then it will add this html inside a p tag basically it will convert this markdown into html code but it will wrap it inside the p so this was the behavior previously but now that has been changed i'll show you that after upgrading so here i'll go over here and i'll say valet composer update since i am using valet so I have to do it like this but if you are not using valet or just composer then just do composer update in order to upgrade your laravel the laravel is upgraded successfully now if i come here so if i come here and just uncomment this out and reload and it is saying undefined variable comments so let me uncomment this one as well so on the comments if we do it like this or basically we'll just do like this instead of adding it to a temporary variable we can just do it like this in a single line and instead of comments we have to write here items or we can just write comments over here like this and if i reload then we will be able to see that basically instead of this we'll, we can just do it in a single line also we can pass any complex calculation over here now let us look at the second thing that has been added is this str inline markdown so previously you have already seen that this one returned the html code and it had p tag inside it but now there is this inline markdown new method added to this str helper class and if i just do it like this then it will not wrap this code inside the p tag if I just show you that previously, it used to wrap it like this. So this new method is added. Now let us look at the third thing that has been added. So added this new required directive. If you look here in the documentation and I have already shown you in my previous videos that there are these new checked, selected and disabled directives added like this. But now there is this new required directive also. So let me show you that one also over here. So here I have passed a user and this user type is not admin, okay? It is normal user. But now if I come here in the welcome and let me just uncomment this out and we can do it like this required. And instead of just doing like this, if the user is admin and just do something else and do required like this, instead of doing this, I'll just remove this and I'll just do it like this. If the user is admin, then only show this required. Now, if I come here and refresh the page, then here is this new one and here we are not seeing that required. But if I just do it like this, since this user is not a admin, so if I just do it like this, then this required will be shown. We don't have to add it in a double curly brackets and do some calculation. It will automatically add that required. And finally, the fourth and the last thing that has been added is this replicate quietly on a model. 
before we could replicate a model using model replicate method and it used to replicate the model by also calling the events associated with the model but let's say we don't want to raise those events when we replicate the model then we can just call this model replicate quietly and then it will replicate this model and those events will also not be triggered it is similar to other methods in the model like save quietly increment quietly decrement quietly and so on